For you Moscow mule lovers out there, we're gonna do a slight variant that's gonna up the ante. Good. Oh, come on, Federal Express. For you vodka, no. For you Moscow mule lovers out there, we're gonna do a slight variant today with whiskey. It's Kentucky. <laughs> it's called the Kentucky Mule, and uh, it's a very similar build, so let's walk through it right now. The key ingredient for this is our fiery ginger syrup. It's made with 50% by volume Peruvian ginger juice, so it's got a real ginger burn. So we're gonna start with three quarters ounce of our fiery ginger syrup. Up next, we're gonna add about a half an ounce of lime, just to balance that sweetness. Um, if you like your drinks more on the tart edge, you might think about going to three quarters ounce, but start at a half an ounce. Pick your favorite bourbon. We like something pretty round and uh, mellow. Um, nothing too, wouldn't recommend a rye here. I feel like that clashes a little bit with the, uh, with the fresh mint and the ginger. So pick a mellow bourbon. We like Bullet. We'll do an ounce and a half. You know what? Let's do two ounces. We're gonna shake this uh, just about five seconds since we are gonna actually top this cocktail with club soda. We don't wanna get too much dilution, but we do wanna chill it down quickly. So we're gonna add just a scoop of ice and do a short shake, maybe five seconds. Since this is a mule variant, we're gonna grab a Moscow mule mug. Uh, copper plated is kind of traditional. Obviously looks pretty cool, gets nice and frosty. Uh, so before we dump that in there, we're gonna fill our mule mug with fresh ice. Grab a Hawthorne strainer, pour it out. Again, what you're gonna notice in this cocktail, this Kentucky Mule, is that our fiery ginger really makes the drink. It's gonna be much better than any mule you've had with just ginger beer. Let's top the cocktail with about two, maybe three ounces of a good quality club soda. It's gonna increase the spiciness of the ginger. Ginger has that kind of zing, club soda is just gonna amplify that. Grab a straw, do a quick mix. Should be well incorporated at this point. And then for garnish, maybe a Lime wedge. The key though is uh, fresh mint. It's gonna help the aromatics of the cocktail. I like to tuck the mint right in next to the straw so that when you go in for a sip, uh, that aroma just comes up right to your nose. So let's try it out. Yeah, it's good. And here's the Kentucky Mule.